Hey there, guys. So, I got my first ever Ada box. Very excited about that. Um, and I'm going to do an unboxing. Uh, not something I do very often um, on my channel, but I was so excited about getting my first Ada box that I wanted to do that. Um, in case you don't know um, about me, um, either from not having seen some of my uh, non video game things or um, not having read my blog, um, I have an undergraduate degree in electrical engineering, and um, back when I was doing that, um, Arduino and um, all the Adafruit um, microcontrollers, they didn't quite exist yet. Remember we had an Atmega um, 32 board that was like this huge board and cost tons of money and everything, and um, so... Uh, we had to do some really neat projects with that um, back when I was doing my undergrad projects. And then I kind of fell out of it and uh, did some programming and some photography and barbecue and all kinds of other things. But uh, recently, I got right back into it. Um, mostly, I've been working on this project over here, um, which is going to be a barbecue thermostat for me. Um, kind of like the CyberQ, that would be the commercial equivalent. Um, but I wanted to do it on my own, both because uh, it would be cheaper and also because it would be a fun experiment and a fun project to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, after I, I got my first Arduino, which I did uh, because of a Humble Bundle, um, I wanted to do the Humble Bundle um, that had... It was a bunch of Maker books from the, the company Maker, and uh, they had one on Lego and Arduino. And I wanted to do that with my daughter, and that was really a lot of fun. And then I just got fell down the rabbit hole. And once you start doing that really quickly, you hear about Raspberry Pi and Spark Fun, and of course um, Adafruit. And so, um, specifically, when I heard them talking a lot about, they were really excited what the new box was going to be. At that time period, um, their special vault was. Um, something that was really enticing me. So I said, oh, I bet that's going to be the next Adabox. And so uh, let's see if I was right. Um, and this is Adabox uh, 15. All right, so here is my uh, Adabox. Got my trusty utility knife, which I've had forever. Let's get this baby open. I was very surprised how quickly this arrived because I just got the email about it yesterday. So I thought, oh, maybe in a week or so this will arrive. All right. Exciting. Ada box 15. Come to your sensors. I love wordplay, so I'm really excited about that. Come to your sensors. Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's always quotes at the bottom. Um, I love this quote here. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Nikola Tesla. Uh, right. So. Ah, the real Ada box is inside. Very cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. I love that. Ada box. I can get rid of that box over there. All right, Ada box. This smells like New York. <laughs> um, my in-laws are from New York. There's something, I think, in the water, um, the municipal water. I'm not sure, but this smells like New York. That's really funny. Um, let's see. I guess the first test of your engineering metal is can you get this box open? I'm trying to do it without breaking anything. I feel like it should just slide out, but maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yep, there we go. <gasps> cool. All right. This should tell you what's in this box. It's what I guessed. It's what I thought it was. Um, very cool. So the back says Adafruit, yeah, Adabox 15, get a clue. All right. Uh, hey, do you feel like you don't have a clue? Do you want to get a clue? In this Ada box, we will give you a clue. The Adafruit clue. Uh, and then it talks about the clue. Um, so, 
Uh, the clue is super awesome. Um, uh, they talk about it in here, and I'll, and I'll read this, but uh, the coolest thing about it is the fact that um, it it has the exact same form factor as the micro bit. They did that on purpose so that it'll work with all the micro bit kits, but it has so many more sensors built in that it's kind of like um, before, if you wanted to make an equivalent kit, you would have to do a micro bit and a bunch of um, daughter boards for it. Um, but now you don't have to. Now you can just um, do this. So <coughs> the clue is a sensor packed development board with small with a small colorful screen and lots of sensors. That's another thing. So recently um, for my kids, um, I've got uh, a second grader and, and twin preschoolers. I got the um, Playground Express. Uh, which is, um, I got the uh, Black Girls Code version where if I buy one, they give one. Uh, maybe right there. Or here. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. No, no, not quite. Maybe I need to back up. Eh, it's, it's not really meant for close focus, right? But anyway, so they sell a, um, uh, essentially a daughter board that goes on the back here that gives you a TFT screen, um, but with a clue that's built in. And the clue seems to have um, at least the same amount of sensors on here, right? So they've got um, uh, sensors on whether you're tilting it, they've got accelerometers on here, and they've got um, a uh, proximity sensor and a temperature sensor. Let's see here. To make it compatible with existing projects, we made it the same shape and size as the BBC micro bit, which I said before. With the same edge connector on the bottom and five big pads so it'll fit inside your existing robot kit or bit add-on so that's really cool again you've, you've got you don't have to rebuy everything each clue comes with a nordic nrf s 2840 bluetooth microcontroller i'm excited to play with that i haven't done any bluetooth or ble um, stuff yet um two buttons just like the circuit player on express a gyroscope and magnetometer um, I don't think that the circuit playground has a magnetometer, so I'm excited to play with that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, you know what? When I looked up, <laughs> I skipped a whole bunch of stuff. 20, 240 by 240 color TFT, temperature, humidity, and barometric, barometric pressure. So that's really cool. What's interesting is they went with Bluetooth and not Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm sure you could get some kind of an ESP32 daughter board to go with this. Um, but it's interesting because otherwise could go really well with the Internet of Things in terms of um, communicating back through MQTT or something. Um, let's see. So as I said before, proximity, light, color, gesture sensor, microphone, and buzzer. I'm curious what a gesture sensor is in terms of a, of a microcontroller. And color is really cool too. So we've... Um, we got the NXT kit when we were doing um, the Lego uh, and uh, Arduino book. Unfortunately, um, the the sensors are broken. Um, this sensor uh, and the sensors in the motors. Either that or every single one of my wires is broken. Um, or at least all the ones I've tried. Uh, but this is also su supposed to be able to sense colors. Um, people usually will make a... Uh, Lego picker, part picker as one of their projects. All right. Everything you need to learn how to interact and analyze the world around you. All right. And then the last paragraph has to do with the fact that um, this was supposed to be, I believe, the um, either the Q1 or Q2 Eta box because they do one every quarter. Uh, and for a while, you know, because of the pandemic, they hadn't done one. Have you been eagerly awaiting your Adabox for a while? It's arrived! Thank you to everyone who uh, around the world who's been patient as this box made its way to you. There's no better time to get an Adabox with lots of fun electronic projects you can build at home by yourself or with your family. Thank you from the entire Adafruit team here in New York. And I do plan to do a lot of this with the kids. That should be a lot of fun. And a huge thank you to DigiKey for going above and beyond to help support Adafruit over the last few months. Yeah, uh, ever since the pandemic, they've added a button on Adafruit for almost everything that says buy it on DigiKey. Uh, all right, so what's in here? There's uh, one Adafruit Clue, one Bonsai Buckaroo, uh, which helps you grow your plants. I've actually been considering buying one of those to go along with the um, Circuit Playground. Um, a uh, AAA battery pack along with uh, AAA batteries. That's pretty cool. 
um, alligator clip cable leads and stainless steel nails to create a DIY soil moisture sensor. That's what goes with the bonsai buckaroo. Um, a water pump, three volt DC motor, plus clear PVC tubing to water your plants automatically. That is awesome. Um, one starter pant, planter pot and a fingerless glove. Um, I've got some projects I want to try with that, both with the uh, Clue and the um, Circuit Pop Express, Circuit Playground Express, and a face mask, which is awesome because it's still pandemic times as I record this. All right, and uh, and they've also given a 10% uh, discount code, which will be great because I want to um, build some robots with the kids. Uh, I love this. This is so cool. Oh, and this, that's what was making the background of the box. The, the, oh, oh, my camera went away. It was a whole bunch of magnifying glasses back there. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's actually do some unboxing. <gasps> wow. I feel special with this packaging. I feel like I've bought like a really, really nice shirt or something. Oh, and now I've got another Ada box that I can use. They have a project where you, you make a snake come out of here. So I'll save that to the side. And here's everything. All right, look at that. All right. This is the clue. I can't believe how small it is. I've watched a whole bunch of, um, of videos on Adafruit's uh, YouTube channel where they've they've messed with it, and I did not realize how tiny this is. Wow. I can see why the uh, BBC thing is called the BBC micro bit. Look how tiny that is. That's insane. Um, lest you think I have extremely large hands, it's the size of a AA battery, basically. A uh, little bit longer than it is tall. That's insane. I can't believe after all this time, I finally have a clue. Um, so the front. Um, oh, wow. They've done such a great job labeling everything on here. Um, so let's see. This didn't work so well before for the um, uh, with the uh, focusing but see here, up here, this one here, it says uh, light, gesture, and proximity. And then on the back, this here is the Bluetooth low energy sensor. There's another button back here. That's the reset button. There's a NeoPixel back here. Adafruit loves their NeoPixels. They're like in everything. This board is surrounded by NeoPixels. Um, Let's see. They've got the humidity sensor right here. The gyro's here, the temp is here. Oh, and they've got a Stemma port up here. That's awesome. So um, there's, there's a few, um, and then here is a JST port for a battery. Um, kind of like the one, this one here that they sell. It's got a JST plug in it. Um, so there's a few things that um, I'm not sure uh, if Adafruit came up with it or if they just had a handle in um, in making it more of a standard because every, you know so many people shop at Adafruit, but. Um, the the stemma port here is uh, one of those ports that allows a lot of the sensors to be I two C, which means that um, you don't have to read analog sensors. It makes it uh, and it saves your pins. Like if you're doing certain things, it saves your pins for you. Like uh, here, we've only got on the bottom one two three zero one two. A three volt in a ground so we don't have a lot of pins out here right we would need some kind of breakout port to get the pins out but um 
but yeah, so this connector allows you to connect a lot of different sensors and just read it digitally, which is really awesome. Um, of course, there's a USB um, in, uh, connector. Uh, yeah, this is this is amazing. Uh, also, now that I have held it in my hands a while, it doesn't seem quite as tiny as it did when I first took it out. But um, because they're always using their their zoomed in camera to look at it during their videos, I had a feeling that I had thought it was a lot bigger. But this is I can't wait to play with this. This is really cool. So that's that's um, the clue. Very very cool. And now I have a clue. I'm not clueless. I'm not clueless. All right. So this here is the uh, bonsai buckaroo. Bonsai buckaroo. Let's see. If there's a way to open this without destroying this bag because there's also some um, some screws that go along with it. Bonsai buckaroo. Uh, here, let me just move it to the bottom here. So, um, there it is. It's, uh, it's got a zero, one, two, three volt and ground. So that's where it attaches, um, to the clue or a micro bit. Uh, and I think on the bottom, so on the bottom it says three volt pin one and ground. I wonder if that's if you were going to use it with like a, uh, a circuit playground or something else. Um, here's the mask. Very cool. Save that for when I go out. And then here's everything else. So. All right. We've got our pot for our plant. Very cool. Has some drainage holes already put in there. Oh, it actually came with two gloves. The, the back of the paper setter only comes with one. So let's see, I would put this on uh, maybe this way. Something like this. And then uh, put it up here and then I can do projects with it. That's really cool. I know they have one on their website um, to do some some music. Put that in there. Here's the batteries. The battery pack. The motor. Oh, the pump. This will pump the. So we got some really teeny tiny ground and and uh, power. Um, cables there, super tiny. So we'll see how easy or hard that is. Oh, you know what? I guess it won't be too bad because we'll have these alligator clips um, to do the connections. So we've got one black for ground, one green for live. Got these two nails that um, we can stick into the soil and that'll help our moisture sensor work. Got one teeny tiny screw, it's so tiny. I don't know what this is for. I think this is some adhesive for the gloves, I'm not sure. And then here's the tubing for the, um, this is what's causing the smell. Once I opened this bag, I was like, something smells. Um, that needs to be aired out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm super excited about uh, what I might build with this stuff. Um, so, wow, my first Ada box, so exciting. I love it. They really know how to put together a great package. Um, I'm so excited for this one and, and uh, what I can do with it. So uh, stay tuned. Um, to this channel so um, basically again if you're a first-time person who just ended up here because of my um, Ada box unboxing I um, I tend to the largest amount of content on here are um, video game let's plays uh, however I do also do some interviews at uh, Comic-Con um, I tend to go to Baltimore Comic-Con and interview various creators there. 
as well as record um, some of the sessions. Um, and I also um, am, do a lot of programming projects. And so whenever I, um, right now this um, summertime, I'm doing scratch projects with my kids. So there's gonna be lots of videos of the various scratch projects um, so that you can um, take a look at those and see um, you know how their projects came out um, and yeah so if that sounds neat subscribe and watch whatever makes sense to watch right if you don't like the video game stuff don't watch the video game stuff if you like you know the programming watch that or you know what just come by whenever and uh, and I love to engage with people so leave some comments and, and we can chat all right thanks for watching this unboxing see you next time